Picture this. You are designing a WordPress website where every pixel, every line of text and every section just flows perfectly, no matter the screen size. It's the kind of control that makes your design stand out. For years, Divi have been the go-to tool for creating stunning websites. But now Divi 5 is here to take it up a notch with a feature called Advanced Units. And in this video, we are going to explore everything you need to know about advanced units in Divi 5, how they work, why they are a game changer, and how they can supercharge your web design process. So ready to unlock the whole new level of creativity? Then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Visual Builder. Now, in case you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it helpful. Imagine a single input field in the visual builder like a Swiss army knife for design. It handles everything from basic CSS units to powerful functions and variables. We are talking about a tool that supports viewport units, calc function, clamp function and even CSS variables all in one place. This isn't just about picking pixels or percentage anymore. With advanced units, you are free from rigid static values. So no more guessing fixed sizes or fighting with breakpoints. Instead, you get fluid typography, adaptive spacing and layout that scales effortlessly and all without leaving the visual builder. It's smarter design made simple. Now let's break down the magic behind advanced units and see what they bring to the table. Number 1. CSS Units First, advanced units give you access to a full range of CSS units. Take viewport width, that is VW. Set a section's width to 80 VW and always fills 80% of the screen, resizing smoothly from big desktops to small phones. Then there are root EM, that is REM, which ties sizes to your site's base font. Perfect for consistent headings. And how about fit content? Use it on a header's width and it's always shrink or grow to match the content inside, keeping things polished, compact, without extra space. Next, we have calc function, a little genius that acts like a calculator right inside Divi. It lets you mix units and do maths. Think addition or subtraction on the fly. For example, set a section's width to calc function 100% minus 50 pixel and it will take up the full width minus 25 pixel on each side for perfect gutters. As the screen size shift, calc function adjusts automatically so your design stays balanced without any manual tweaking. Number 3. Clamp function for fluid control which is your key to smooth responsive scaling. It uses three values, a minimum, a preferred size and maximum. For example, if we use clamp function and enter 36 pixel, 4 VW and 48 pixel on the heading text, it starts at 36 pixels, grows with the screen based on 4% the viewport width and caps at 48 pixel. Number 4. CSS variable for global flexibility. Now CSS variables are like your design's personal assistant. Define something like font size 5em in Divi theme option, then use the function variable and the font size inside it in any module. Change it once and every element use it updates instantly. It's a fast way to keep typography, spacing or color consistent across your whole site. It's a fast way to keep typography, spacing or color consistent across your whole website. Number 5. Unitless Values And finally, Advanced Unit supports options like Initial, Unset and Auto. Set a paragraph's color to Initial and it reverts to Black, ignoring other styles. Use Unset to clear a property back to its neutral state or auto to let the browser decide like a section's height, stretching to fit its content. These little tricks can give you extra control when you need it. Now let's see advanced units in action with some practical examples you can try yourself. Number 1. Responsive section width with calc function. 
Now imagine you want a section that's 80% of viewport height, but the same room at the top and bottom. So for that, in the sections design tab, we need to set the height to cal function and we'll enter the value as 80 VH minus 60 pixel. Now this keeps it fluid to 80% of the screen height minus 30 pixel on each end for padding. It scales beautifully as the viewport changes. No extra work required. Number two, fluid typography with clamp function. Now for text that adapts without first, go to the heading module and set the heading text size to clamp function and enter these values like 52 pixel, 2VW as 2 viewport and then with comma, enter 36 pixel. It starts at 52 pixels, grows based on 2% of the viewport width and stops at 36 pixels. With that, you get crisp, readable heading that look great on any device, all in one simple step. Number three, variable driven font sizes. To keep your headings uniform, define a variable like text size h1 and we assign a value as 4.5 em in the theme options and then in the heading module, set the text size to our variable that we have just named. One update in theme options and every heading use the same variable sync up. Advanced units aren't just cool, they are big deal for DB5 and here is why. Number one, creative freedom. It mixes unit functions and variables to build layout faster and better all inside the visual builder. Number two, better responsive design. Tools like EW and clamp function make your site adapt naturally to any device cutting down on fixes. And number three, future proof. By tapping into modern CSS and advanced units, keep you ahead of game matching what pros use these days. So ready to get your hands on this? Download the latest version of DV5 Public Alpha today and start playing with advanced units. Experiment all the units available or set up variables to streamline your workflow. It's your chance to create responsive, dynamic websites with less effort. So jump in now and see how far you can take your designs. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more WordPress and DV updates, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.